Welcome to First Person Defender, where good guy role players come face to face with unknown attackers in real world scenarios oh, stop right here. Stop right and fight right here. their way out. Get down the ground! You're about to set my daughter on fire. There's no way I was gonna let that happen. Get away from her! Get away from her now! You got me in the shoulder, right through center mass of what I was giving you. This force-on-force -force training uses simunitions, a non-lethal alternative to live ammunition, backed up with live fire training on the range. From home invasions... Hey, get out of my house! To ...active killers and multiple hey, attackers. Speed kills. Sometimes it's fast speed, sometimes it's slow speed. Each episode of First Person Defender features a situation straight out of real life. Get in the damn car! This could happen to anyone. This is First Person Defender. On today's episode, based on a true story from the Crimson Trace Files, many people wear eyeglasses or contacts. One challenge they could face is trying to shoot a self-defense gun after being awakened in the middle of the night. Can you identify the threat? Can you see the gun's sights? That's the test awaiting today's volunteer. My name is Ann Bennett and I live in Mandeville, Louisiana. I'm single and I'm a realtor. I'm by myself the majority of the time and usually I have a client with me that I bring along to show homes to and it's just the two of us. I don't have much of a background with firearms other than hunting. I've really never shot a handgun, maybe just one time. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm getting into here. Uh, Anne is probably one of the least trained or least prepared people to come into first person defender scenarios. Anne is a, a typical non-gun person. A lot of people are probably in that same position where they're on the edge, where they, they're not afraid of guns, they understand guns, but they're thinking, you know, I don't really have a good reason just yet to own a gun. She probably just needs a little bit of extra push towards the idea of what a gun could actually do to improve the security of her life. The scenario that we have set up for Anne is different. It's something completely outside of what she would expect. We're going to have her in a darkened or dimmed bedroom. She'll have a gun nearby and an intruder is going to enter her home and come into her bedroom. All right, Anne, so for this scenario, it's gonna take place in your house, okay? It's gonna be in your bedroom and you're actually gonna be in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> so for that scenario, since you probably won't wear a holster to bed, we're gonna use this bedside backup made by Crossbreed. And what you can do is you can get whatever kind of holster you need for your gun. This goes in between the mattresses the, and the box spring and then you place your gun on that with that Velcro and it just sits on the side of your bed. So you can come in here and you can get your gun out. Now, do you wear glasses? Uh, contacts. Okay. So if you didn't have your contacts in, do you think you'd be able to see well enough to read? To read, yes, but far away, no. Okay, so you've got the exact opposite of what we're gonna throw you in this scenario today. Okay. There's a lot of people that as they get older, their eyes, they can't see up close anymore. So they find themselves trying to, they need reading glasses to actually see the sights on the gun, but they can see the guy plenty good. They just can't see the sights on the gun. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna reverse your scenario a little bit for you today. And to do that, okay. what I've done is, I've made this handy dandy sight block here. <laughs> so when you look through this pistol, all you're gonna see is a big black mass with no sight alignment. Okay. Okay, so this first time through the scenario, you're gonna be using this pistol. Now this is a simunitions kit on top of an M&P Smith & Wesson, which is a semi-automatic pistol. Anne familiarizes herself with the pistol and learns the layout of the house before the scenario begins. The pistol is attached to the mattress where she can draw it from the holster while still on the bed. Everyone is in place. More than a hundred years, the Model 1911 has been by our side through it all. And proudly, it's once again a Remington, America's favorite pistol design by America's most trusted gunmaker. 
with your handgun and the training to back it up. A laser gives you the ultimate advantage. This is Condition Crimson, and in Condition Crimson, we stand. Learn more at ConditionCrimson.com. First Person Defender is brought to you by Ruger, Nosler, Smith & Wesson, and Blackhawk. The first scenario was set up so that it was one person coming into Ann's house and going there to probably kill her or assault her for certain. I told you I was gonna come and get you! I told you! Uh, I told you I was gonna come and go! Index! 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 So what was the last thing that you were told right before you started the scenario and got in bed? That my boyfriend was going to kill me. Well, I was coming to do you in, that's for sure. And it was gonna be ugly. So you did a good job. We have some, uh, we have some training we'd like to put you through out on the live fire range uh -huh. to help you maybe with that target focused idea of, you know, if all I'm gonna do is look at the target and I wake up and maybe I can't see my sights because I don't have the glasses I need or I'm groggy, you know, how sometimes your eyes get goofy and gooey in the morning or when you mm -hmm. get woken up. I think that's something that'll, that'll help you and open your eyes. Well, the pistol was set up with no sights, so Ann was at a disadvantage. So as soon as I opened that door up, she already had the gun in her hand, but it was gonna be really hard for her to get shots on me. And I thought, well, if she keeps shooting at me and she doesn't get a good hit, I'm gonna jump on her and attack her. But the one that went right square in my eye on the face shield, I figured, well, that was a showstopper. So I went down right there. It was a good success for her. All right. So we're gonna do some live fire. The gun's just a little bit different. We've got the Springfield XD. It's a full-size gun, just like you were using before. But we put a laser on the front of it, okay? Okay. Now the laser comes on as soon as you grip the pistol. But as you'll see, did the same thing to the sights again. Mm -hmm. And I did go to the house, and not only did I bring your, your holster, but I got your whole bed set up out here <laughs> okay. as well. Okay? Great. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you some things about using the laser on a pistol. So what we're gonna do is, when I go for the gun, I'm gonna pull it out of the holster. I'm gonna watch to make sure I don't sweep any parts of my body or my feet. I'm gonna come up to my elbow. When I squeeze the gun, the laser comes on and I'm gonna engage, all right? So I'm gonna come back down, put that back in. And we're gonna go through the whole thing. So what I'll do is I'll give you the command of threat. So when I call threat, you'll look up, identify there's a threat there, get that, uncover that pistol, come out of the holster, and I'm gonna live fire. Now I'm gonna put rounds on target using that laser, because I can't use the sights. Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing is watching that green laser on that target, and as long as that laser's there, my trigger finger's working. Let's just go through the motion once of okay. reaching over, grabbing that, that, that cloth up. Now, if you'd reach over with this hand too, you can uncover that a little better. Pistol comes up and out. Now, your hand's not on the grip very good, is it? No. Then go ahead and put it back in that holster. <clears throat> now, when you reach over here, you want to put your hand high up here. And what I use is, my, I actually make this pretty easy by putting my thumb up here to leverage the gun out. Mm -hmm. So I put my, my fingers around the grip. Now I use my thumb up on here, on this edge, mm -hmm. to pull the gun out. Then I wrap my thumb around. And now, be careful not to sweep your feet. Squeeze and aim. Actually, prop yourself up on your elbow. Let's do that again, there you go. From there, you can go ahead and fire one shot. Squeeze the trigger, good hit. All right, finger off the trigger, straight along the frame, and back to the holster. 
really good job. But see how we, we just take it slow and smooth so that we can learn the form and the techniques. Okay, again, uncover, rip the pistol, be high in that back strap when you get there. Remember, you wanna be high up in there, good. Sweep it up out to the target, prop yourself up on your elbow, and give me two this time. Green lays, green lays. <laughs> Finger off the trigger, outside the trigger guard, back to the holster. Let me tell you, most people couldn't do that with the sights. But see, the, the laser's not a replacement for the sights. It doesn't make shooting easier, but if you really watch the sights, like you're watching that laser, mm -hmm. it's the exact same thing. You get the same results. That's the sights. They're just all the way down there. I felt pretty comfortable with it. Um, I'm surprised because I haven't handled hand pistols before, but I felt that that laser took all the complication of aiming out of it. I've trained a lot of people, and for a person to be shooting at 15 to 20 feet one-handed and keeping them all inside of a little eight-inch circle, that was a pretty big deal. She, she did way better than most people would have ever done. Innovation and forward thinking often lead to greatness. And when you believe in what you make, the comfort, quality, and reliability of Crossbreed become a part of you. Carry concealed. Carry comfortably. Carry the cross. Nosler Defense Ammunition is loaded up front with the bonded performance line of bonded core defense bullets. Professionals trust their next move to Nosler Defense. First Person Defender is brought to you by Remington, Crimson Trace, and Simunition. So in the second scenario, we always change things up. We always give the person who's defending themselves a little bit of training or a little bit of equipment or both for an advantage. And this time we gave her the laser and a flashlight on her pistol, both passive, so that all she had to do was grip that gun and light and laser came on. But we threw a twist in as well with putting two attackers into it. In here. Her room's in the back. I told you I was gonna come back. What are you doing? Don't you dare! Oh. What, what are you doing? Stop! Are you? What are you doing? Well, there was a second guy that didn't know what he was doing until so, I saw the rope. <laughs> until you saw the rope. So you actually laid the gun down on the bed like it was over. And then when he attacked you, then you went for the gun and during the struggle it went off. Uh -huh. Well, the main, I guess the main teaching point here would be that, hey, sometimes multiple attackers happen. Just because I, your boyfriend, threatened to come back to get you doesn't mean I'm not gonna bring my, friends. my friends with me. Mm -hmm. There was a lot more movement going around. It was a little bit more confusing for me, but uh, I, that, with that laser, I got the shots off really quickly. Uh, my mistake was not noticing the second person entering the room. Well, one of the 10 deadly errors is relaxing too soon. And that's exactly what Ann did. She did a great job. She won the moment and she lost the day because she relaxed too soon. Of course, we're talking about someone who hasn't had a lot of training, hasn't had any training, really. She had, you know, everything she learned 
Today was new, so she did a really great job. And in the end, she did a really bad job, but now she knows what she needs to train for. This situation has definitely made me think about living alone and not having any protection for myself. Uh, I've never really thought about it before. I guess I've just been living in a bubble. <laughs> I would definitely be interested in getting some training and to purchase a pistol, especially with the house I'm building. I would like to keep one there.